Hi everyone, so this will be my review on the Homeworks 18 ounce 4 wick blackberry tres leches candle. The fragrance notes for this are juicy blackberry, sponge cake, heavy cream, and vanilla bean. So the pour date of my candle is January 7th, 2023. And I purchased this one at Marshalls for $16.99. I haven't seen many reviews on this scent and these are popping up at TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Home Goods, so I decided to do a review on it. To talk about the packaging, this has a beautiful wraparound photo label with a very light almost indigo wax color, so a solid 8 out of 10. Surprisingly, this has the heavier metal lid compared to the cheaper lids that sometimes appear. My only gripe is that the label shows about 60% cake, 15% filling, and maybe 25% blackberries, and that is not what I personally smell. Next, to talk about the fragrance, I would say I mainly get that tangy, slightly sweet, fruity blackberry scent. Then it would be the Tres Leches cake. And it is also a very wet, yet airy, spongy, white, or yellow cake. For those who don't know, Tres Leches is made typically using three types of milk, which would be evaporated milk, sweetened condensed milk, and whole milk or heavy cream in some cases. I feel like this cake mainly has that heavy cream note instead of the sweeter condensed milk fragrance note that I'm used to um, since heavy cream isn't typically sweet or as sweet as the other milk components. I would say this isn't overly sweet or really sweet at all. The vanilla bean isn't too strong and takes a backseat to the spongy, cakey, and the fruity blackberry scent. Personally, I despise, loathe even, Tres Leches. Um, I've had it several, <laughs> several times throughout the years during holidays. So like we're talking Mother's Day, Christmas, birthdays, weddings, and I just don't like that moist texture that it has. I like this candle how it smells though. I just don't like that moist texture, but I like how this candle smells, even if it isn't authentic, like a Tres Leches smell to me. The blackberries are not as sweet as strawberries or raspberries, but strawberries and raspberries can come off smelling a little artificial at times, and this blackberry scent doesn't smell artificial to me. However, big however, almost all of the Tres Leches cakes I've smelled and reluctantly tasted at parties mainly use strawberries. I have rarely, if ever, seen any other type of berry being used, let alone blackberries. I feel like that's not a super common fruit or berry to use in Tres Leches. So the Tres Leches cake isn't meant to be super sweet, but just a tad bit. And that typically comes from the frosting between the layers. This candle smells mainly of the tangy, sweet, fruit, juicy blackberries and a reduced sweetened cake. If this candle was a real cake, I would imagine, let's say my diabetic uncle would probably have a slice because I don't imagine this candle, if it was an actual cake, being overly sweet or it wouldn't taste too sweet. And then the strength on cold, I would give it a solid 7 out of 10. So let's talk about the burn. The candle has burned okay so far. I've mainly burned this in a medium sized bedroom, no issues pulling out with minimal fallout and little to no sitting. It typically pulls out in two hours and it still has very high, strong, beautiful flames. If I could think of one issue with this candle, it would be the wick placement. And that is because the wick placement is slightly off. So I don't know if it was originally like that or if the wicks are shifting as I am burning, but I have a feeling that they are moving as I am burning it. So I'm just being careful and keeping an eye on it, making sure that the wicks don't move even closer to the edge because that could be a little bit dangerous. In regards to candle care, I typically don't trim my homeworks candles besides removing these small mushroom tops. I find if I trim them too short, the flame just kind of suffers and it gets like puny wicks too quickly and not trimming them and just removing the mushroom top really helps. In this case, my candle isn't really sooting despite the very beautiful tall flames, so that is a plus. Right now, I'm currently on my sixth burn, and let me tell you, I feel like this candle got slightly stronger, okay, just ever so slightly, the more I burned it. The first maybe three burns, I didn't get much of a scent payoff because it was pretty light. I almost regretted purchasing it. It was a, I, if I had to give it a number, it'd be a three out of 10. But now it's bumped up to, I mean, still kind of low, but a little bit more strength, so 4.5 or five out of 10. 
So it went from a very low throw to a low medium throw. The scent doesn't really project much or travel to other rooms, but it does fill my medium sized bedroom, which I'm happy with. Um, it fills it with a subtle scent. I also want to say that the longer you burn this for, the stronger the scent becomes. For example, um, the candle smells stronger on your fourth hour of burning versus your second hour of burning. So I would recommend burning this for longer periods of time instead of um, turning it on and turning it off too quickly. So the scent is pretty identical as the scent on cold. Um, however, I would say that the scent on cold has more of that fruity, juicy blackberry scent, whereas burning it has more of that cakey scent. Nonetheless, it's still a mixture of that blackberry jammy scent and those milky cake notes. Overall, this is a great background scent. It's a bit light, so just be aware of that. It's barely a medium strong scent, but very unique. I personally don't think this candle, or I don't consider this candle a Tres Leches cake scent because when I smell it, it doesn't have that signature strawberry note and it isn't really sweet or heavy on the sugary condensed milk note. However, the combination makes me want to keep smelling it and I would purchase if this went on sale. Alright, so that is my review. Thank you so much for watching. Okay, bye.